Mackerling with Workout 101 and the MF Trainer. Shrugs. Been getting a lot of questions about shrugs and how to target the different areas of the traps. There's three different areas of the traps. Well, how do you hit all three? Well, first and foremost, most people are familiar with the barbell shrug. It's very simple to do, all right? One thing that you guys gotta understand, never rotate when you do shrugs. I see a lot of people in the gym, they do this rotation type of, don't rotate your shoulders, okay? That does nothing, and it, it, actually you guys are probably gonna hurt yourselves doing it, because a lot of times you tuck your chin. That's another thing, never tuck your chin when you're doing shrugs. You do that, you're gonna be blowing out discs in your neck, and I know people have done it. First and foremost, let's cover the typical barbell shrug, all right? Barbell shrug, you can do them in front or in behind. I don't recommend doing behind unless you have a Smith machine, just because behind barbell shrugs, you don't really have that great a grip position, and you might lose the barbell, drop it, and it cause some injury. So if you're gonna do barbell shrugs with a free barbell, put it in front, okay? Now, as you come up here, very simple, shrug straight up. Now, because of the bar position, if you look at my arms, my arms are a little bit more forward in front of my body. What that does, it protracts my shoulders forward a little bit, which takes the emphasis off of traps two, traps three. So it primarily hits traps one, okay? So that is how you target the first uh, 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 traps one, okay? If you want to target traps one and two, grab a set of dumbbells. If you notice the position of my arm is more in a neutral position, my shoulders aren't protracted, they're now in a retracted state, and I can simply shrug up and down. I'm emphasizing more of the, of the traps one, but I'm also hitting traps two as well. Okay, it's an assisting uh, part in the traps. If you really want to focus on targeting the traps two and traps three, what you want to do is, and you can use cables, I like doing this on a bench because it really puts a little bit more of an emphasis, especially a direct load, and I can increase the load because dumbbells, traditionally, the cables and stuff don't go as heavy as the dumbbells would, okay? So what you want to do is get on an incline bench here, and you want to lay face forward, face first, okay? You put the dumbbells down here, lean forward. Now what this does is now my arms are more in front of me, and as I come up and I shrug, you're still shrugging straight up and back, and by retracting your scapula, you're gonna hit more of the lower traps, all right? So grab a set of dumbbells here. Again, don't, don't put your head up, don't tuck your chin, and don't kiss the bench either. Just have your head in a neutral position here. Let your arms hang straight, and simply up and back. Up and back, okay? By doing all three of those exercises, you're going to make sure your traps are going to get sore, they're going to get used, you're going to grow more muscles, and your traps are going to be targeted. All right? So until next time, it's Mike Mackerlin with the MF Trainer. To download a workout program with these three exercises, click below. Talk to you soon.